Hi guys, what's going on? I'm just kidding, I don't talk like that. That's for idiots. Uh, everybody on the internet is making a video about their PC, so I thought about, you know, making a video about mine. The last time, if you watch any of my videos, I only have like 120 some subscribers as of the recording of this, but uh, it was in a 350D Corsair. Uh, it had like a 4790K. Uh, I'll put a link up in like the video here somewhere if you're watching this on desktop. And it had a, nah, it was on Z97. And I made a video bragging about how I got 5 gigahertz on water with it. Ever since then, it has, you know, I think it was like a year since I made that video. But since then, it has gone a number of alterations. Uh, I have moved up to a couple of different cases, and of course, I will explain. I don't feel like doing any editing, so let's see if I can do this in one take. And by the way, uh, I still am doing gun stuff. There's a, like a thousand rounds of 9mm right there that I reloaded. I'm just not feeling it right now. Uh, sometimes you're feeling it, sometimes you ain't. And I'm working two jobs right now, so I'm kind of fucking tired. So let's go through our list of parts, shall we? Uh, starting at the motherboard, this is an ASRock. Uh, this is upside down. This is an ASRock X99M Fatality Edition. This has the uh, USB, ah, fuck the focus, uh, USB 3.1 right there, uh, of course, which is useless right now because nothing supports USB 3.1, but I have it, so fuck you. Um, the chip on the board is the Intel 5960X 8 core. I had a 5820K, but I decided to upgrade because, well, I just needed it, and I got it from a friend who I did a favor for. No, those were not sexual favors, in case you were wondering. This is a Noctua NHD14, no, NHU14S, the D14 has dual towers and shit, it's got their proprietary fan, um, you ask why I'm not running it vertical in order to ma uh, match with the fan, the reason is it, when you run it vertical like this, it interferes with the PCI slot and like the graphics card just like, and it's like pushed up against the other one. And I kind of can't do that. Speaking of graphics cards, uh, dual GTX 760s. And you're probably wondering, uh, 5960X and a couple of last-gen low-end cards, what the fuck? Um, I will explain uh, in a few seconds. Uh, but basically, I killed a GTX 980 uh, purely by accident, but it was my fault still. And I had these two GTX 760s lying around from my old Phenom build so I decided to repurpose them in here and they work fine I only have a single 1080p panel so it's not like it's a big deal uh, AX860i uh, power supply Corsair 80 plus platinum certified I made my own kinda shitty sleeved cables uh, out of like, I think I got the paracord for it down there. Anyway, yeah, I've sleeved my own cables. I did a horrible job on it, but you know what? From a distance, it looks pretty badass. And this is a gentle typhoon in the rear. I have a knock to it, but I tried Frankensteining it in the 860i because uh, the fan on that unit, even though it's a $200 fucking power supply, the fan was going bad, and so I had to change that out. You can't really see it uh, right now. There's like the SATA connector for it right there. And there's a screw holding it into the optical bay. But uh, there's uh, my SSD right there. It's just like popped in right there. It's uh, the Samsung 850 Evo. Um, 250 gigabyte. I don't know. Nothing special. But that's what it is. Not. It's pretty damn good. Uh, I use that for my... Uh, boot and like applications uh, that require fast storage like I don't know I use Adobe Premiere, Sony Vegas 13 etc etc I don't store any games on it because it's only 250 gigabyte which is why I have this little doodad here this thing's got fucking dust all over holy shit um this is the uh Seagate Barracuda 
It's a three terabyte, which uh, interestingly enough is actually full almost. Because like whenever I buy DVDs, movies, I rip them and store them to my drive. I don't know if it's legal, but I bought the movie and I do it. So yeah, fuck you. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to mention the RAM. Uh, was it 32 or 16? <coughs> Excuse me, I got like shit in my throat. I think it's 32 gigs of G Skill Rip Jaws X. It is a DDR4, obviously, being X99 platform. 3000 megahertz DIMMs. And I think that pretty much does it. Oh, back to the 760s. So, yeah, I killed a GTX 980 because I used to have this thing right here. This is the, uh, that's the Fantex Enthu Pro M, which is a very nice case, especially for like $70. It was a killer deal. And I got that. I put water cooling in it on the bottom here. I got a 360 mil EK radiator. I have a freaking, uh, 280 like a big ass 280 uh radiator there i have the ek supremacy water block set up for x99 just look at that that's shiny i just polished it so there's that so and there's the pump and res combo that i did a even more shitty job of sleeping but it looks all right and i have the tubing here i was running hard tubing uh this is the one that went to the cpu block but you ask me why the hell would you go from liquid cooling back to air cooling well the reason was uh number one cost associated with it and also because uh after killing a 500 hundred dollar graphics card i just didn't feel like dealing with all the hassle all the maintenance all the BS that I did deal with. So, I'm uh, selling this right now for what I think is a killer deal. I'm selling this for $400. All the stuff, plus the fittings. Like, this is like 75 bucks worth of fittings right here. Those of you who water cool, you know how expensive that stuff gets. And so, I'm going to be selling all that off I got to get it all back into the boxes I don't know if the dude whoever buys is gonna want the tubing but this is PTG EK uh, I think this is 12 mil 12 millimeter uh, tubing but that's uh, how my computer came to be oh and I didn't even mention the case this is a Silverstone TJ08 I love this case. I got it for $50 on eBay. $50 shipped to my door. I didn't even have to pay for shipping. That's incredible. It was missing uh, a little few screws, and obviously it's used, but uh, I have a kit of screws, and it's all good, basically. So that's where my computer sits as is. I don't believe there's anything else to say about it. If you like this video, please like. If uh, you want to comment about your rig, I always think other people's computers are really cool. This is a hobby of mine. Um, my big hobby is guns, but as of right now, I think I mentioned it earlier, I'm just not into it right now. I'm just too poor to buy guns, and I'm instead looking for graphics cards. Fallout 4 and uh, other games, I'm busy with GTA 5, so uh, when I'm done at work this is what I do I come back here I game and that's it so please like this video comment about your rig and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one I don't know why you watch these stupid ass videos but hey at least you're trying